Hi, and welcome to the Cancelled News. I'm Adam Yenser, winner of 11 Emmy Awards, none for this show. Please be sure to like and subscribe and help me get to 5,000 subscribers, because then at that point, I can ask you to help me get to 6,000 subscribers. And come see me live at Laugh Boston, July 15th and 16th, and at the Comedy Cabana in Myrtle Beach, July 18th to 23rd. Now, I took a few weeks off because I was touring for stand-up, and there were a lot of big stories that happened while I was gone, so I want to get you caught up on some of the news stories that I missed while I was off. John Vicenton, the CEO of Xerox, died at the age of 59. John Vicenton, the CEO of Xerox, died at the age of 59. John Vicenton, the CEO of... All right, we get it. Anyway, here's what else is in the news. Pope Francis praised the U.S. for overturning Roe v. Wade and compared abortion to hiring a hitman, both of which should be legal and affordable, said Hillary Clinton. Speaking from Rome, the Pope said he used the hitman analogy because he wanted to put in terms Italians would understand. WNBA star Brittany Griner sent Joe Biden a handwritten letter asking him to help her get out of jail in Russia. Griner says she can't wait to get back to the U.S., rejoin the WNBA, and have her anonymity back. Fun fact, as a WNBA star, her signature actually brings down the value of that paper she signed. A biologically male 29-year-old transgender skateboarder beat a 13-year-old girl to win a women's skateboarding competition in New York. Spectators became suspicious when a bunch of the girls fell on a railing, but only one yelled, Ow, my balls! Tom Cruise, star of the summer blockbuster Top Gun Maverick, turned 60 this week and is now almost big enough to ride the roller coaster. Um, right now, uh, I'm being told we have some breaking news that we have to go to. There has been a bison attack. This is at Yellowstone National Park. Apparently a family was visiting Old Faithful when this man's child got too close to a buffalo. The man threw himself between his child and the buffalo and yelled, bye son, before getting gored. Truly terrifying, hopefully he'll be okay. Boris Johnson announced that he is stepping down as head of Britain's Conservative Party and resigning as Prime Minister. Johnson says he'll miss the job, but is looking forward to returning to a normal life of grocery shopping, taking care of his kids, and mowing his hair. This Monday was Independence Day, the day America declared its independence from Great Britain, and the day this man's thumb declared independence from his hand. Nancy Pelosi was photographed wearing a cleavage-bearing swimsuit at Andrea Bocelli's resort in France. Thank goodness I'm blind, said Bocelli. Joey Chestnut won the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest for the 15th time this year by eating 63 hot dogs dipped in water and put a protester dressed as Darth Vader in a headlock, at least according to this Mad Lib I did earlier. A 17-year-old Florida girl lost her leg in a shark attack, but says she still plans to go back to the beach. The teenager said she feels safe returning to Florida beaches now that Ghislaine Maxwell is in jail. Speaking of animal attacks, we're getting word right now of another bison attack. Again, this is at Yellowstone National Park. A 71-year-old woman was returning to her vehicle when the bison attacked. The buffalo tore off her pants, then left her in the buff alone. Members of the alt-right group Patriot Front marched through Boston this week waving white nationalist flags. They're being called the least racist people in Boston. Travel influencer Jessica Nabongo became the first black woman to visit every country on Earth. And yet, after visiting every country on Earth, for some reason, this black woman still decided to live in the most bigoted, racist, misogynistic country there is, America. What? This is unbelievable. I'm being told there's yet another bison attack happening. Once more, this is Yellowstone National Park. This bison charged and knocked a man over a railing. This is now the third bison attack at Yellowstone this week. Subway is launching a new, more neatly organized sandwich menu that the company says will make it easier to order. The new menu will be arranged into categories such as cheese steaks, chicken, and sandwiches a pedophile used to lose weight. Gavin Newsom, the Democrat governor of California, has been running anti-GOP ads in Florida. 
which is where most Californians have moved since he's been governor. Due to guilt over the show's lack of diversity, the creator of Friends donated $4 million to the African American Studies program at her college, and Chuck Lorre, the creator of The Big Bang Theory, donated $4 million to Humor Studies. Is that... No. I don't know what to say. We have video of another bison attack. <laughs> this one is an attack by M. Bison. This is apparently called the Psycho Crusher, and it's what happens when you press back, forward, high punch. Spain's running of the bulls was held in Pamplona this week after being suspended for two years due to the pandemic. The Running of the Bulls is an annual festival in Spain that gives Europeans the experience of visiting Yellowstone National Park. 